Crikey, I want to dance like that. Wow. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. It's another week. It's another Strictly Come Dancing debrief. And I am so excited to be doing this video this week because I have enjoyed the show tonight. I feel like when I watch it, not properly like the week before, and I go back to sitting in the telly, watching Strictly Properly, I love it. It was so good. Before we start, we do have to... Just note that Strictly Come Dancing Professionals could be in our presence. Um, hello, Diane. Um, Bobby might be here. Who knows? Other Strictly pros could be here. You never know. And that's what the exciting thing about making a YouTube video is you never know who is going to watch it. But anyways, we're going to kickstart with the Strictly Come Dancing debrief. Okay then, let's get going with this debrief. At the start of the show, I loved the dramatic opening uh, where the celebs and the pros were dancing. Then the celeb would just pause and like look at the camera and just be like, this week it's been hard or whatever. I loved it personally. Loved it. J'adore. Uh, Tess and Claudia, love it as always. Moxie's glitter suit. I know I make a comment every week on Moxie's outfit because I always love it, but this week Stunned. The hair, the suit, phenomenal. Loved it. Uh, celebs came down. Got a little bit nervous, I can't lie, because Diane and Bobby were in red, all red, and I was like, oh, I've seen this before. And it was when Dev went out on Strictly to my favourite song ever. Well, one of my favourite songs ever. Dance with a Stranger. Me and Diane have had this conversation before. Um, and I just, like, I was really triggered. And I was just sat there, and this is my boyfriend, I was like, they're all in red. He was like, what? I said, death. I was like, death was in red. Anyway, moving on with the rest of the video, my friends. It is time to get into the dances and give my opinions. As, as I like to be opinionated on these videos, I watched a couple of them back and I'm like, um, you're not a judge and you can't dance. So I don't know what you're saying. But anyway, it's all good fun. Let's get into it. Okay, dance number one. Ellie and Zito. Love their partnership so much. Samba to Copacabana. Um, looking at those scores again, I thought the judges were a little bit harsh on Ellie. Uh, sevens, I gave an eight. Uh, Copacabana. It was phenomenal. Um, I did see that tiny little mistake at the end. And I said, I was like, was that a mistake? Was that a mistake? I hope it wasn't a mistake. Um, anyway, wow. I started with the negative there. Shouldn't have done that. Wow. Great dance. Loved it. I loved the pink. It was very samba. And I think Ellie has confirmed her place in the final. Although it probably wasn't her best score. I think she's confirmed her place in the final. The judges' comments were strict. Just saying. But finalist. I see it. Next up was Adam Thomas and Luba doing the waltz, which Adam really wanted to do. And you know what? I'm glad he did it because eights all around. Even I gave an eight. Uh, Death though, his best dance. I loved it. It was beautiful. It was like a simple waltz, but just lovely at the same time. Like it was just good. I loved it. Again, another improvement from Adam. Loved it. And I loved seeing him near the top of the leaderboard. That was fun. Next up is Jodie Candy with the Yadida. Uh, the Salsa. Loved it. Um, I gave the five. I did sort of agree in the middle. Um, those lifts were great. Um, Yudita, like, flying in the air. She literally got, like, thrown around like a hula hoop or something. Crikey. Uh, a tune. Uh, definitely wanted more from it as well. Like, I did agree with the judges. I wanted more. And it's worth noting again, I just love how traditional Yudita's dances are. Like, they always are just classic Strictly from back in the day. Like, they were just so, so good. Loved it. Um, next up was Amanda Abington. She did Foxtrot. Uh, I get it at six. I always go down, sorry. Um, Everywhere by the... By the Fleetwood Mac. Why was I going to say by... I just paused myself then because I was like, by the Fleetwood Mac. 
Um, I love, love, love that song. Um, it was a good dance. Fair comments on the judges, but the song was everything and more for me. Um, also love the um, Amory and Noah Horan version of that song. And everyone always has a go at me because I should like the original more and not the Amory and Noah Horan children need version. But hey ho, we've got a loose brow. Should we get her in place? Yes, stunning. Next up is Krishna and Guru Murthy. That has moved again. Let's, do you know what? It's honestly fine. We're just going to move on. Uh, Krishnan, Guru Murthy and Lauren. I love Lauren. Paso Doble. I gave it a seven in the middle. I thought it was really good and I've wrote quite a lot about Krishnan. So let's get through it. Paso Doble. That's what I wrote. Um, good. Lauren, amazing. Her choreography is top notch. She is such a good addition to, I know she's always been on Strictly for the past couple of years, but she's such a good addition to having a celebrity. So good. Um, he was in the zone, like so in the zone. Uh, he goes through it as well. Like I love how he goes through it. He puts in so much effort every week. Improvements again, loved it. And I feel like he is one of the busiest celebs from when he spoke about his schedule the other week. And I honestly think he gives it everything and more. Like, I hope one day I get to say that to Kushnan and Lauren because amazing. Like, he he is a total beginner and you could tell at the start. And he has just got better, better and better. And big up Kushnan, loved it. Okay, time now for Zara McDermott, uh, Zini's Waltz. Um, Always hard to come back for the dance off. I said that about Nikita in week two. Um, it's always hard to come back from it. I gave it a seven, agreed with the judges. Tonight was the night of the sevens, by the way. Like, everyone got a seven. Uh, dramatic, cute, love the theme and the story and the outfits. Definitely an improvement there. And I just thought beautiful. Uh, next up, flying paper everywhere, is Annabelle Croft and Johannes. Um, jive to feel it still. Love that song. Again, all the sevens were well, one eight, but a seven from me. Sorry, Anton. Uh, cute, what a tune. Elegant, so, so elegant. Just good. Like, she looked neat. She looked tidy. She looked like a pro. And those cartwheels, chef's kiss. Loved them. Loved them. Next up is Eddie Caddy, American Smooth. Um, I thought that was better than what the judges said. Although I agreed with their scores, I gave it a six, well, not quite a quick score. Um, let's look at my comments first. Like, I did think it was harsh commenting. I didn't think it was a disaster. I just thought it was classy. I love the American Smooth. I just love that run and walk thing they do, right? So like they run or walk like down the dance floor and they just go like that with their hands. I don't know what the move is and I feel like I've, I, I can vision it, but I can't act it. Diane, if you're watching, can you let us know what that American smooth movement is? So when they run down and they sort of just swish their hands as they like run down the dance floor, I love that. Um, smooth indeed, loved it. And I just love watching Eddie. Like that's worth noting that I just love watching him. And I thought it was a shame on the scores because I thought they were a bit harsh, but I do know where the judges are coming from. He is better out of hold than he is. In hold but I feel like I would be the same oh my life Leighton Williams and Nikita 37 from the judges and ladies and gentlemen drum roll my first 10 10 stunning oh I was speechless I agreed with Anton's comment where Anton just went just brilliant the lifts, the spins, phenomenal. Like, crikey, I want to dance like that. Wow, the splits. Oh my life. I loved it so much. I love the outfit. I love the song. I love them both. My first 10, absolutely brilliant. Smashed it well and truly out of the park. And I had high hopes. And he just delivered the biggest sleigh. Ever. I loved it. 10. Stun. Let's just finish the series there.
No, I'm joking. Long live Strictly. Okay, Nigel Harmon did a salsa. Uh, the judges gave it eights. So I agreed with Moxie though and gave it a nine because I thought it was great. He's back. The dancer in Nigel is back. It was powerful. The lifts were good. Wow, just oh la la, salsa. <laughs> Stunning. Loved it. Loved it. We need more Nigel. I loved it. Angela Scanlon with the Viennese Waltz. Again, all the sevens are out tonight. I agreed with the sevens though. Thought it was lovely. I thought it was a simple but effective, but I can see what the judges mean. Maybe more. Um, elegant as always. I loved it. I thought the judges' comments were harsh, but yeah, I do understand them to an extent. Like, I can see where they're coming from. But yeah, Angela and Carlos this week I really enjoyed it. I really did. Next up is Angela Rippon dancing the rumba to Rise Like a Phoenix. Like one of your edition's biggest songs. An eight from me. The song was just, yeah. The song was probably one of the highlights in my comment section here. 79 years old and she did that. Like damn. Like damn. She is so good. I loved it. It was such a good dance. Such a good song. The performance was everything. The fire, the passion. I loved it. So good. Phenom. Finally, Bobby Brazier and Diane Boswell did the tango uh, to fashion. Obviously, I was nervous about the red, but I did not need to be nervous. My nine, my second nine of the night, I loved it. The strut when he came down those steps, I was like, wow. Damn. Wow. Whew. What a dance. It was ace. That tango was just good. Just so good. It was great. I loved it so much. Bobby is so talented. And I could see that him and Diane were so emotional. And I was like, I just want to give them a hug. Like, phenomenal. Phenomenal. I hope Bobby gets to see this because, wow, Bobby, you were phenomenal. One of my favourite dancers of the night, 100%. And I also think Bobby has just secured his place in the final. I mean, I said that a couple of weeks ago. I predicted them as the the winners of the show, for goodness sake. But yes, um, it's so good. So, so good. Loved it. Well done, Bobby. And well done, Diane. Oh, we got through that fast, didn't we, tonight? Um, my votes go to... Leighton and Nikita, Bobby and Diane, and Ellie and Zito. The same as the last week. I got to vote. Didn't get to vote last week. Uh, felt a bit left out of the party, but I got to vote this week. Phenomenal. Loved the three of them. And I, again, I, I've said it before, I would love those three to be in the final. I think they probably will be my notes every week, to be honest. But yes, this section of the video is back. It's back, darlings. <laughs> Okay, I hate myself that I haven't eaten to do this section, but it's an important part of the video. Um, it is the dance-off. We've got a talk dance-off. Oh, this was hard because I got last week's dance-off wrong. Um, not that wrong, but a little bit wrong. I said Jodie last week, and I do think it will be this week, only because when you look at the scores, he was a 19. And the next score above him was like 24 and then it was all 28. And I just think that's quite a difference. So sadly, I think first in the dance off will be Jody and Yodita. And I'm just writing a line underneath him for a certain reason. I think he, to be honest, in the danger zone also would be Zara and Eddie. I think it's between the three of them. I think Jody will be up against Eddie. I wanted to say Zara, but I think tonight she'll she'll get through. Um, so I'm saying Jodie and Eddie. And sadly, I think Jodie will go between Jodie and Eddie. But I don't want anyone to go. Like, everyone was great tonight. Like, I really enjoyed the seasoning show. Like, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we will see about that, won't we? And we'll see who goes. But it'll be sad to see either of them go. If they are the ones in the dance-off. We will wait and see, won't we? But yeah, I think Jodie versus Eddie. For this week's dance-off. I'm not completely sure. I really don't know. I'm not sure. But that's today's prediction anyway. 
So there we go. And that's the end of the video, my friends. Um, that was a little speedy one. I hope it wasn't too speedy. I hope everyone enjoyed that and it wasn't just bam, 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 bam. But yes, I loved it. Australia Come Dancing Week Thought is almost over. We just got to wait for the results and we're just speeding through the weeks. So I said it tonight, I was like, this is just going bam, 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 bam. Like, it's fast. Only two people have left the show, for goodness sake. Like, make it last longer. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. The love on the Strictly videos is so good. And it has made me love this YouTube video, video channel, like more and more and more because it's just so fun. I just, yeah. I know I'm just sat here in front of my phone, but I just know like so many people are enjoying these videos and people, it's evident people are coming back every week. And the comments as well, like please join in with the comments. We've got some lovely people giving their feedback, what they think of the show. Um, so yeah, please join in. Let me know what you think of the show. Bring me your wisdom and strictly and whatever you want to say, you know. Uh, all this left for me to say, although I have wrote Keep Dancing. Uh, my boyfriend's wrote, thanks for watching. That must have been when I went to the toilet. Um, all that is left for me to say is actually no, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's important to say. Um, because again, the subscribers are going up and we love that. Um, anyway, all that is left to say is keep dancing. Do do do. And I will see you next week for more Strictly Come Dancing debrief uh, Sundays at 5 pm. But do you know what? I think this week I'll put it out at 4. So Sunday afternoons between 4 and 5, expect. Strictly Come Dancing debriefs. So, finally, all that is left for me to say is keep dancing. And I'll see you next week. Adios.